This is part 4 of the Weapon Export Tutorials Cameras, Lights and Grouping First off we're doing cameras Select this little camera button and target Press in anywhere in the screen and drag and you get this nice box Then select the box Right click, right click, right click and Then move up on the Z Select the camera Right click, right click, right click, and then move that up to a good height. Then press the C button, then press in the middle mouse button and drag, and then go up to camera one, right click, configure, select this double box. Change this to user and change this to camera one and select OK. Now with this camera one, you can see this three boxes. These are the save frames. Now to better calculate where it will look on the interface inside the game, um, go to rendering, render, and put in these numbers which will change the save frames. 115. 43 and in the background you can see that it's changing now just press enter and it's fine now in this one you're gonna want to move the camera with this one so I'm comfortable with that press the camera move it back by its y-axis axis so it's leaning a bit on the camera view. Then get the X and drag it to the left. A slight bit. Go back to the camera and move the camera. And you're just gonna wanna keep on making small edits. The larger the weapon, the less you're gonna have to tilt it. My my voice may sound a bit weird in this one, but I've got like a bit of a flu. Sorry about that. And that's why I'm talking slower. And then when you're comfortable, and it fits pretty much in the box, and if you want to go down, just go this, and select, push down on the z-axis onto the light now we're going to need two omni lights so select the lights button then omni T for top view and just create two little lights I'm just going to do this quickly Move them above the volumes. And you're going to want to position them in a way so they light the model in the interface. Now we need another light, which is target direct, F from view. Just going to drag this down into the middle of the model. You're going to want it the same height as the camera and just position it. You know, we have the same as mine on a little tilt. Now we're going to do grouping. Select the schematic view and select all these that are not linked to the model. Then go up to group, and then select group. And we're going to want to call this stuff underscore. 
primary, then select OK, then right click, and go to Object Properties, and then in the User Defined, put in Preview, and select OK. Now we're going to do a little cheating so you don't have to do it again. Select Edit, Clone, make sure it's a copy, and then just delete the primary and the underscore off. So it's just stuff. And there we go. And then go to Schematic again. Select Stuff and Stuff Primary. Select Connect and drag over to Stuff. And that's it for part four.